Hey guys, what's up? Today's video is on this look right here. It's a very soft, kind of girly, um, matte spring makeup look. Um, I actually really like this look more than I thought that I would. Um, I wanted to try something different and something that I don't normally do. Um, and I am actually completely obsessed with it. I think this would be a really pretty look for like Easter or something like that. Now I know most people are not doing their normal Easter get-togethers this year given the whole coronavirus stuff. So I hope everybody is staying healthy and well and everybody's doing okay out of work and everything like that. But please be sure to like and subscribe before you leave. And if you would like to see this Easter inspired soft glam makeup then just keep on watching. So we are going to be starting off with the face today. Um, I do already have my eyebrows on because I just filmed a video before this one but let's go ahead and get started on the face. So to prime I'm going to use the Smashbox primer water. Okay. Now I'm using the Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer. I already opened it, that's why I'm showing you like that. And then before I move on to foundation, I'm just going to moisturize my lips. This is the Fresh Sugar Caramel Hydrating Lip Balm. Alright, for foundation, I'm using the L'Oreal Infallible Fresh Wear Foundation. So now I'm using Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. So now I'm using my RCMA No Color Powder to set my under eyes as well as the rest of the face. Alright, so I'm going to zoom you guys in and we're just going to go ahead and start on the eyes. Alright, so for starters I'm going to use my P. Louise Eye Base to prime for shadow. So what else I'm going to move my mirror up. So. Okay, so this is in the shade 01, so it is a little light for me right now. Um, because I am self tanned. But it'll be fine. And then I'm just using this brush to blend it out. I honestly do not know what this brush is. I ordered it off Amazon like probably at this point like five or six years ago. So I have no idea what this brush is. But the Sigma has a brush similar. Um, but I prefer this one because it's not quite as dense as the Sigma one. 
but Sigma does have a similar brush. Alright, so I am using my JH33 brush and I'm going to go in with Makeup Geek Unexpected, sorry I'm not trying to flip you off, which is that color right there. Okay, so I'm going to start by tapping this right here on the very outer like third of the eye and then I'm bringing it into the crease, but I'm not dragging it like too crazy far in. Just like that, so now I'm gonna wipe off the brush and I'm gonna turn it so that it's kind of sideways and the fluffier side is, um, like so the fluffier side is laying like this versus where it's a little more precise like this and we want a fluffy side like that just to blend out. And then I'm going to take a little bit on the tip of that brush and I'm going to put this all along the lower lashes. Again, not bringing it like too crazy far in, but at least on like the outer half. Okay, now we're going to do the exact same thing on the other eye. So again, I'm taking it and I'm kind of patting it on this really outer third of the eye. And then into the crease, but not all the way in. Alright, and then dusting off that brush, and we're going to blend this out. And then taking a little bit on the tip of the brush and we're going to use this on the outer, or sorry, the lower one half of the lower lash line. Alright, so now we're going to go into, okay, so now I'm going to take just a little bit of Vintage, which is this one, and this is again from Makeup Geek, and I'm using that same JH33 brush. And we're going to do kind of that same pattern, so right out here on the outer third and then dusting it into the crease but keeping this one more so in the outer third of the eye we don't want to bring this too far in at all we want to keep this we're keeping this eye nice and bright so now i'm dusting that off the brush and we're going to go in and blend just like we did before And then again, taking just a tiny bit on the tip of the brush and just right out here on the lower lash line. All right, now let's do the exact same thing on the other eye. Okay, so real quick, I'm going to go in with that vintage shade again, but I'm going to take my Morphe E36 brush just so I can make it a little bit deeper, just right out here, just a tiny bit, just on the outer third of the lower lash line. Okay, just like that. So now I'm going to use my Morphe JH53 um, and I'm going to go in with this shade right here. This is Sorbet from Makeup Geek. 
It's like a really um, nice matte light pink. And we're patting this all over the inner half of the lid. Just like that right there. And then I am going to take this and use a little bit on the inner corner and right down here as well. And this outer like one half of the lower lash line. Just like that, so now I'm just going to grab that JH33 that we were using with the darker shades to just kind of blend and make sure that everything is nice and blended together. Alright, just like that, so now I'm going to apply wing liner and lashes. Um, I did not grab my gel liner, but it's the Maybelline Gel Liner in the shade Black is Black. And then I'm going to use the Blinking Blue... Blinking Butte Lashes in the style number four. So I'm gonna go do that really quick and I will be right back. All right, you guys, eyes are done. So now let's finish off the face. I'm gonna take the Kat Von D Shade and Light Contour Palette and I am going to take my Morphe JH02 and I'm gonna take this middle bronzer shade. So now I'm going to take my JH05 brush from Morphe and I'm going in with the lighter contour shade which is this one right here. And then I'm mixing that bronzer and contour shade and putting that on my uh, Luxie 182 brush, which is their collaboration with JD Weighty 180, and I'm going to just lightly bronze the sides of the nose. Alright, so now I'm taking my JH04 and I'm going to use Makeup Geek Spellbound. It is a Makeup Geek kind of day. And yes, I have all of their old products. I realized that they did like a re... what do they call it? Like a rebranding or something? I'm not totally sure, but um, they did do like a rebranding and now all of their like pans are like square. I obviously have when they were older. I've had these for a while, honestly. I think I've probably had... Uh, most of the shadows that I used as well as uh, like this blush and stuff for probably at this point like six years I would say I definitely had it before I graduated high school and I graduated five years ago so I'm gonna guess like six years now um so I but powders like this usually don't go bad so So now I am going to spritz my face with the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. Alright, and 
am going to be using Opal um, from Becca. I have not used this in a minute and I'm kind of excited. Yes. I haven't used this in a long time. And then last but not least, we're gonna do lipstick, and this is the Charm Liquid Lip from Kylie Cosmetics. It is in their Velvet formula. And then because I want this to look more matte, I am going to kind of use my finger and tap off any excess and that's going to help to make it look a little more matte and not quite as shiny as it does right now. Alright you guys, so that is it for this makeup look. I hope you all enjoyed. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you again in my next one. Bye!